Tutorial video seven, how to update TMflow. Now we will discuss how to update TMflow software on the Cobot and client. We constantly try to improve our software and we'll release updated versions from time to time. When a new version is released, please update your software so that you can utilize the newest features. Let's begin with discussing how to update the Cobot system version. First, we will need to format a USB flash drive to the Omron TM format. To do this, plug in any flash drive, right-click on it in your File Explorer, and select Format. From this window, let's change the file system to NTFS format, and rename the volume label to TM Robot in all caps, no spaces. Please make sure you save a backup copy of the files on your USB drive because formatting will delete all of your files. The next step is to acquire a copy of the zipped folder with the TMflow update files. Please contact your local Omron representative for the latest TMflow update files. Now let's extract the contents of the zipped folder to the root directory of the newly formatted USB drive. There should be four files total, a brand.cert file, a 32-bit installer, a 64-bit installer, and a TMR file. Now let's initiate the update. Plug your USB drive directly into the control box. In TMflow, navigate to the main menu, click System, and then click System Update. If the USB drive and the TMR file in it are recognized, they will show up here. If the TMR file does not appear, the USB drive may not be formatted properly, or the four extracted files may be in the wrong location, or the files may be corrupted. Next, click OK to initiate the update. Please note the update sequence will occur immediately after clicking OK, but only as long as the update file contains the same system version or newer. You will get an error if you attempt to downgrade the system version. If it is necessary to downgrade the system version, you can do so by restoring the Cobot to a backup point that you have previously saved. When the Cobot begins updating, do not touch anything. Do not unplug the USB and do not exit out of any computer windows. Keep in mind, the update process can take up to 10 minutes. The update is complete when the controller completely shuts off and the blinking red light indicator on the end module also turns off. Now you may power the Cobot back on by pushing the power button on the robot stick. When it has finished booting up and the TMflow Connect screen loads, click the version information button to verify the update was successful. Now let's update the client TMflow. First, we must uninstall any previous versions of the software. To do so, go to Add or Remove Programs, then find Techman Robot Control Application. Click the Uninstall button. You will need the same zipped folder with the four update files, a brand.cert file, a 32-bit installer, a 64-bit installer, and a TMR file. For 32-bit operating systems, use Setup. For 64-bit operating systems, use Setup 64. Click through the Install Wizard and wait until TMflow has been successfully installed. Once TMflow has been installed, there is one more step before you can begin using the program. Copy the brand.cert file in the same zipped folder as the new version of TMflow and paste it into the main TMflow folder located on your C hard drive. You are now ready to use TMflow on your external Windows device. This concludes video seven of the Omron TM series tutorials. Thanks for watching.